Chief signing Hollywood Marquise Brown, <laughs> as you. Tone Diggs of ESP News uh, reported, <laughs> mm -hmm. to an $11 million one-year deal to join Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and the reigning back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions. This is like the most obvious Andy Reid signing of all time. Patrick Mahomes is pumped. He puts out a smiley face emoji. Andy Reid sending texts with winky emojis to Hollywood Brown. Hollywood's responding. Think Hollywood Brown. Lights. Camera. Action. That's from Andy Reid? Yeah, it's a text message between Hollywood Brown and Andy Reid. And then Kyler Murray, you're dead to me. That's a new move. I like that. Yeah, it's awesome. I do too. They're mocking, yeah. Yeah. you know, how everybody. Yep. yep. Yeah. It's awesome. That Love is kind that. of a cool little tip of the hat. Because mm -hmm. I do, I think fans do appreciate that. Like, yeah, he's not on our team anymore. He is dead. Yeah, he is dead to us. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's, we've been needing this in sports. This is what it used to be. Guys ain't dapping yep. each other up, giving each other hugs. I don't care if you're roommates, best friends, suffered through life together, found yourself together, uh -huh. whatever. I don't care. As soon as they're on it, you fight that. You spit in that person's face. Bingo. Mm -hmm. yep. So they're covering all the bases there when they're like, you're dead to me. Yes. I, I appreciate this new trend. I yeah, know. the cool little video, too, from 300. But that Tiki Barber thing, I feel like that is what has been talked about, is all Giants fans probably feel how he felt about Saquon leaving. Like, that is to how. The Eagles. To, the, to Eagles the Eagles. Yeah, the because it's the Eagles. Yes, of course. Tiki was not happy with Ryan Clark. No, no he was not. He was. Tiki, no. Tiki Barber's not happy with Ryan Clark. Keep my name out your mouth. We got some radio wars, some TV beef. Huh? Listen, we, we've, we've seen a couple of these uh, personality wars from the outside looking in and from the inside staring at the pe people we're war at. Yeah. It's not fun. No. I hope they put their put, swords yeah, down. Put your swords down. Yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. Life's Doesn't feel like they will. Huh? Doesn't feel like they're going to put their swords down anytime soon. They're going to put their swords. No, they can't because they stand on business. And if you stand on business, there you have go. to. Stand on business available today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pac-Man Jones' first song with Universal. <laughs> What's that? Why are you guys laughing? What was that? You said I was making a question. What's your problem? I, I, that, no, that for shoot was not. Is Con me. Man featured on that or something? What? Like, what is, no, what is the sound? You just spit out because you're laughing at, the, at Connor. What, what is come on, what was the reaction to that? Stand on business. SOB <laughs> is available right now yeah. for Pac Man Jones. I, I, that was not me spitting into the microphone. I, I, I did nothing. It was I don't know why. I'm like, because you were overreacting. Did you I, no, forget I, that Stand on Business SOB was released? Absolutely today? not. I mean, I already reposted it on A. But I was just I just turned around to look, you know, back towards the guys to see if we can get the music video up. And no, we can't. Me. So we're not allowed to do that. Okay. Yeah, Universal knows it. Universal. Well, not just Universal, because we're on ESP News, and at one point we were doing the news on ESP News. They'll send us a strike. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. It's available though. Yep. The song, the beat that he sampled from. So good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Fire. It is. It's a banger. Mm -hmm. Congrats, Pac. Have a good boy, Pac. Hell yeah. But no, definitely cannot play that. Okay, let's not, bummer. Yeah, let's not do that. Hollywood Brown going to the Kansas yeah. City Chiefs. We were all talking Calvin Ridley. When Mike Williams came on the market, we're talking Mike Williams. Look at that. Hollywood Brown seems like a perfect match for the Kansas City Chiefs. They're paying him one year, $11 million. Was there a market for Hollywood? And how come none of us were talking? We're Why weren't we talking about Hollywood Brown being available? Uh, first of all, it's one year, $11 million max. So the base oh. is a little bit lower. And, you know, I would say for, for Hollywood, you know, when everyone, when all the analysts kind of plan out there, like where do these free agent fits or where are guys going to go, the two most, like, obvious ones, I guess, were Derrick Henry to the Ravens, which, you know, to me, like. I thought he was going to the Cowboys. Yeah, what? Obvious. Uh, I mean, he lives in Dallas. Like, people thought he bought a house in Dallas. He may have, but he also just lives there. That's just where he lives. It's crazy. Um, it's like so anyway, he goes to Baltimore, which I think is like one of the best and most perfect fit signings of the whole free agency. Mm -hmm. And then Hollywood Brown is the other because, you know, the Chiefs didn't have a ton of cash, especially because they haven't traded a luxurious seed yet. We'll see if they end up doing that, Ooh. but they haven't done it yet. So it wasn't going to be a big multi-year deal. And I think for Hollywood Brown, there's been a lot of flash. There's been some up and down. Really, really, really talented. Like, if you're him and you want to get a big multi-year deal next year, there cannot be a better place for – not be a better place than to yeah. go to the Chiefs. Yeah, I, I thought that was perfect. I thought it made a lot of sense. I was surprised it didn't happen earlier. So, Legereus Sneed, you just mentioned there, has been 
reference everywhere. People are recruiting yeah. him, I think, publicly. Uh -huh. He's franchise tagged. There's going to be a lot of money behind that. You're going to have to make a trade. He had a phenomenal he's – a, he's a stud. He's an absolute Great. stud.